Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about three reasons not to buy the Toro Time Master. That's right, I've got three reasons why you shouldn't buy the most famous mower on YouTube. It's sitting right behind me and I've owned it for one year, so stick around. Before I get into these reasons, I want to make sure that you stick around for the entire three because the last reason I'm going to compare this mower behind me, the 30 inch Time Master, versus my 22 inch recycler on 7,000 square feet of Bermuda lawn. That's right, I've got the exact results on how much time it saves, so you're not going to want to miss that, so stick around. Okay, let's get right into the reasons. Reason number one is a big one, and that is cost. So as of this filming today, the Toro Time Master is going to set you back about $1,500. That's right, $1,500 for a homeowner push mower versus a regular 22-inch type recycler mower at $500. So you're spending a thousand extra dollars on this machine. So ultimately, you've got to decide if this cost is worth it. But it doesn't stop there. So that's the initial cost. Think about maintenance. This is a larger machine with a bigger engine. It's got two blades. It's also going to use a lot more gas. So all of that is going to add up to a higher annual operating cost for this machine. All right, so now that we've got the biggest factor out of the way, the cost, that brings me to point number two, the mowing experience on this machine. It's a heavy, big machine. You're gonna feel that on your upper body when you're out mowing your yard. It's got the personal pace, so it, it helps you out. It pushes along just fine, but when you're actually maneuvering this mower, what I find is I get a lot more fatigue in my shoulders and back versus just a regular 22 inch push mower. The best way I could describe it is that smaller push mower. It just has a more nimble feeling. If you've got a property like mine with lots of curves, turns, slopes, trees, you may find that this could be an issue with using this larger mower versus the smaller mower. Before I get into this third and final point, and this is the most important one, you know, if you're if you stuck around this far, I would ask if you please take a moment to comment, like, and even subscribe to the channel. Reason number three why you might not want to buy the Toro time master and this is a big one so it may not save as much time as you think this is the review that i really wanted to see before i bought the mower over the course of about a month i mowed my front yard just the 7,000 square foot i wanted a part of my yard that didn't have a lot of obstructions so i could get a really fair assessment so i mowed it with my 22 inch recycler multiple times and then i mowed it with my toro time master multiple times i used the same patterns i cut it at about the same height everything was pretty much the same and I wanted to see how much time does the Time Master save. And honestly, over the course of that month, I was pretty shocked. These results were not what I expected. So mowing the same 7,000-ish square foot part of my Bermuda lawn with the 22-inch recycler took me about 22 minutes and that was very consistent over multiple mows. I even tried a couple different patterns and it always ended up coming out plus or minus 30 seconds. I fully expected the Toro Time Master to save me a lot more time than it did. But at the end of the day, let's answer the question. Mowing the same 7,000 square feet of property, it saved me six minutes. That's right, six minutes. I tested it multiple times. It came out to be within 30 seconds uh, all of the times that I tested it. Now you may be saying if you've got a larger yard, then the savings is gonna multiply and it may be worth it. Well, that's ultimately up to you. You've gotta decide. I do have a larger yard. I've actually got about 20,000 square feet total of turf. so. If you start doing the math out, basically I could save probably 15 minutes or so. So I guess ultimately you've got to decide is, you know, saving somewhere between six minutes to 15 minutes, uh, depending on your yard size, is that worth $1,000? I love this mower. It's a great machine. It has a good quality cut. It does a good job. It does save me some time and it's fun. It's fun to use at the end of the day. It's a fun machine to use. But the question that I want to answer that may help you is, would I buy this machine again today if I was out in the market for a mower for my property? And I'm going to have to say the answer today would be no. And my reasons are that the cost just doesn't justify the time savings for me. I would be far better off just using a 22 inch mower on this property and then saving up for a larger lawn tractor. Some of the things that the Toro Time Master cannot do that a lawn tractor could uh, first off, it would solve the problem of fatigue because you'd be sitting on the mower versus pushing a big, heavy mower. Second off, a lawn tractor gains me the ability to pull behind attachments such as a cart to haul different things around my property, an aerator for fall overseeding, a spreader, and the list really just goes on about the possibilities that a lawn tractor would provide me. 
And this may not be the same for you. If you've got a fairly large or medium sized yard, so in that 15 to 20,000 square feet, you don't have a lot of obstructions, then this Toro Time Master might be a good machine for you, but you can still do it with a 22 inch push mower and get it done for a lot less cost. So ultimately you've got to decide what's best for you. That's my opinions and views on the Toro Time Master. And no, this video surely wasn't sponsored by Toro, but I hope that helps you out. If you've got any questions about the mower, please like, subscribe, and then drop me down a comment and I'll be sure to answer it. See you in the next one. Thanks.